Hello, welcome to a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, which is the latest version of the Lamborghini Huracan. I'm at Anglesey Race Circuit and I'm following my friend and colleague Mauro Callow, who is in a McLaren 600LT. Uh, hello mate, can you hear me okay? Matthew, yes I can hear you mate. Um, I hear you loud and clear. Great, alright, so you're in a McLaren 600LT uh, Spider, isn't it? Correct, 600LT Spider. Um, slightly heavier than the coupe, so just over 1,400 kilograms. Uh, we know the engine well, it's a 3.8 litre twin turbo V8, 592 horsepower. Um, it's very, very fast. 62.9, um, 124 is 8.9. So this is a really, really quick car. Um, what have you? Well, I'm in the, the Hurricane, which has got more power because it's got 640 horsepower and it's all naturally aspirated V10 as ever, uh, which is lovely. This weighs, plus given it's four-wheel drive, this weighs about 1420, but that's dry. So I would have to see what we last put one on the scales at, but it's got to be 1600, you would think. Okay, so probably 200-ish kilograms heavier than this. Now I suspect you've got the better engine because you've got a naturally aspirated uh, V10, uh, but I think I've probably got the sharper chassis, but we're going to have a bit of a dice in a minute, so um, I guess we're going to have some fun finding out. After the next corner, let's let's find out. Okay, mate, copy. It's beeping at me again, but I'm going to just let it beep for a minute and uh, we'll see what happens. So after this corner, I'll give it the potatoes on the way out and then we'll go. Right, so he says, I think I've got the sharper chassis prior and you've got the better engine. Well, let's see about that. I have got the better engine. Let's see if he can keep up with us in this 600 LT. Now that thing, as we've just said, Matt's got more horsepower than us, he's got four wheel drive, so he's gonna have more grip exiting the corners. Um, he's got a bit more weight, and so let's, oh, hang on, just try and get the grip. Got quite light steering, which is not necessarily telling me loads about what is going on. Well, there's some movement in the chassis, it is straightening a little bit, but that's at a very high speed. I'm not, Dropping him massively. Oh. Woo! God, you really have to wrestle this thing. Bit of understeer. Bit of oversteer. <laughs> God, for that corner, I had everything. I had understeer and oversteer. Oh, I got stride man gripped, struggling. Oh, he caught me through there so much. And on the way out of this corner, I'm always fighting. The understeer effectively. Right, so there it goes. It's a little bit loose around there. I think I've probably got the legs on him down the straight. But then I think he probably gets me through the corners. I think on the exit, where I've got a weight, he can. Oh, it's pretty even. The great thing about this car, the brakes, the brake pedal is so good for left foot braking. The pedal is straight in front of me. So, if you try and right foot brake, it feels pretty uncomfortable, but with the left foot braking, the pedal is so nicely positioned. If you are that way inclined to left foot brake, it's actually really good. Oh, that was nice for a day. This is a very capable car, but it's moving around. I feel like I'm sitting on it a bit. The seats are not very supportive. It just feels, you know, like I'm... Maybe, maybe better seats would help. But it feels like I'm moving around on them. Right, through here, I, through the slower stuff, I can catch again because it has four-wheel drive traction. And he's facing the fact that that car is moving around a lot. Oh, I'm working so hard. It's not a very fluid car to slide around. If I'm not sure how much fun Matt's having in that thing, but I am... Um, Come on. Um, I love this car, absolutely love it, up until the point it loses grip. And it just doesn't give me the options that I want once it's lost grip. Like now I've got to hold, I've got to hold, hold, hold. Oh, see that, if I get on the power, it just understeers. The whole car just skips forward. Why is it beeping at me? It's beeping at me again. I don't know why it's beeping at me. It takes my concentration away every time it beeps at me. Come on. It's a wild ride, this thing. I wonder how much fun Matt's having in there. And I am having fun. Got that engine for a start. 
just wish I was having a little bit more fun. By now, if I was in a Ferrari 488 or Pista, I haven't yet tried a Tributo, but I think it'll be similar. By now, I would have started destroying the back tyres. And some of the pace might have gone out of it. But I'd arrive at a corner and I'd have a lot more options than I have in this. It's kind of crapping myself. Oh, and there. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm really having to work that to get a slide. That's not easy. Um, I'm, not, I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to be the big boy. That is not easy at all. Right, let's uh, slow it down a bit. Woo, that was a workout. That was a workout. Given that what we both think about that 600 long tail chassis or the McLaren chassis in general that looks like you were having quite a lot of fun mate I was but I was really really working hard mate um it, it's not very predictable it doesn't it, you can't get that oversteer on demand exactly when you want it you can get it but you've kind of got a you know it's coming but you're just not quite sure when it's coming so you really really need to be ready for it because it's a physical car to drive fast um, and it, it does move around, but just not exactly when and how you expect it to. Yeah, uh, the car I've been talking about in here, because I'm, I'm in here and I'm just hanging on to it, the steering's not giving me a huge amount back, whereas I know you've got brilliant steering in that. This, this, it's not all understeer, it shuffles stuff around and it's, you know, it's a little bit neutral, a bit understeery, uh, very occasional, gives me a tiny bit of oversteer. But the car I'm coming back to when I'm talking about it is the 488. Uh, I haven't driven a Tributo, but it, I imagine it's similar. I just, I would kind of rather be in that. That thing's way more intuitive to drive fast. It does what you want, when you want. Um, and it just gives you more options in terms of its ultimate handling. Uh, and I, I'm not saying this is a bad car, because I absolutely love this car right up until the point when it loses grip and then it frustrates me. Yeah, I agree. My experience in that is very similar. I love it as a road car. I wish it made a slightly better noise, but it's, you know, it, it rides and it steers and everything's, everything's great right up to the limit. But do you reckon you're having more fun in there or do you think I'm having more fun in here? No, I think I was having more fun in here, mate, um, because it did oversteer and I was enjoying the fight with it. And I do look at it a bit like I was having a fight with it. Um, and I know other people have said that that's a bit hard on the car, but I feel like I was in a wrestling match with, with this car. Um, and yeah, it, it's good fun, mate. If you like fighting, this is a good car. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, this frustrates me. There's a decent chassis in here somewhere, and I think there's a better chassis in the Audi R8. And it just, it's got so much power and so much potential. I, I sort of wish it was more rear biased, if not entirely rear wheel drive. We both agree, fantastic. <laughs> All right, well, uh, there you go. I think we have a conclusion. Cheers, mate. I'll, um, I'll see you back in a bit later. What is your car complaining about now? <laughs> it's telling me that my front left tyre pressure is critical, although it's exactly the same as the front right tyre pressure. <laughs> critically high or critically low? Uh, crit well, um, critically the same as the other one, which isn't bonging at me. They're both saying two bar. One's bonging at me, one's not. For more agreements and disagreements about all kinds of supercars and other cars, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and you'll never miss one of Autocar's videos.